Hey everybody, it's Jennifer. We are now into December. We've got about three weeks left in 2021. And this is the time of year, I think it's really hard for agents because people start to do one of two things. Um, first of all, there's so much going on. There's so many distractions. We tend to not work as hard in December as we probably should. But at this point in the year, your business pretty much is what it is. You're not going to make a huge difference in your production in the span of three weeks. So you are either you hit your goals for the year, you exceeded the, your goals for the year. You're like, I'm done. Start over January 1st, brand new year. Or you didn't get to where you want to be this year. And so you're thinking, well, like, can't fix it now. January 1st is a new year. I'll start over then. Everybody starts to have that January 1st mentality around this time of year. And it's like, okay, in January, I'll, I'll get right back after it. And you are giving up if you're doing that. We have, I mean, three full weeks, almost a full month of being productive, of doing things that are going to help your business, that are going to push you forward, that a lot of agents just let go by because it's just, it's a hard time of the year to be really productive. And one of the things that I think a lot of agents for, well, one thing that they definitely underestimate is the compound effect. And I want to talk just for these next three weeks. I don't want you to be taking on anything like new or crazy, but you can still start with where you are. and What are you doing right now? And just bump it up a little bit. And then if you do that over time, people just forget how powerful that compound effect can be. And one of my favorite sayings is if you want to make a plan, think big. But if you want to make progress, think small. Hitting your goals for that plan is going to come down to doing little things every single day, building them into your habit, building them into your routine that eventually will get you to where that plan, that big goal is. And so I want you to start working on the thinking small part right now. You've got three weeks left. Um, like I said, you don't need to be setting new crazy goals. It doesn't need to be, well, I'm making 10 calls a week right now, so I'm going to up it to 30 calls a week. That that's a huge difference. But what you can do to set yourself up for success is just start maybe making two extra calls a week. And so here's the thing, just for easy math, if you were making um, 10 calls a week, let's just say that makes 40 calls a month. At the end of a year, you would have made 480 calls. If you just up it to 12 calls a week, just add two, that's it. Two seems like it wouldn't make a big deal at all. But if you do that over the course of a year, at the end of the year, you will have made 576 calls, almost a hundred calls more just by doing two calls a week. We really think that just doing that little extra more is not going to make any difference because it seems so small, but it makes a huge difference. I mean, this is in everything. I mean, say maybe you're, you're trying to, with your weight. Sure. If you had a cheeseburger one day, the end of the day, not really going to make that big a difference. But if you eat a cheeseburger every day, three months from now, like it's going to make a difference because you did it over and over again. And um, I've talked about the books Atomic Habits before. I love that book. But just one of the things he points out is just that 1% difference doesn't seem that big. But then when he shows the change it makes over time. So if you are doing something and you just up it by 1% and then you do that every single day, at the end of the year, you are massively ahead of where you would have been based on the 1%. So it's about doing things over and over and over. And this is a great time of year to start implementing that and making it a habit and getting used to it. So what are you still doing right now? Are you still making some phone calls? Are you still holding open houses? Are you still writing handwritten notes? Are you still you know, trying to go to lunch with one person in your sphere a week? If you just do one more, between now and the end of the year, over the course of these next three weeks, you will already have started that cycle, getting you off to a good start for next year. So just the power in doing one more thing <clears throat> will make massive, massive difference for you next year. It's so easy to slack off right now. You really have to fight that urge. You will be wondering why you don't have any business come February of next year if you let this entire month of December go by without continuing to still try to hit those goals for yourself. So 
go on your appointments, make your phone calls, make sure you're having those conversations, be tracking what you do. And then just start to right now, even don't wait till January 1st, start to right now, just dial it up one notch, nothing crazy, just one notch between now and the end of the year. And you're already setting yourself self up um, for a great 2022. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you next week. Bye.